I guess I'm roping everybody into this fucking intro. I volunteered. No, I didn't. Hi, guys. Welcome back to episode 21. 21. Yeah. Episode 21. The the sequel to episode 20. And we are going to rope into some cool fucking topics. Um, the word around town is that we don't like Amber Heard. Let's 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 cut to Miles for that that. Oh, that no, I can't fucking that's talk. Actually, take it away. Yeah, no, they, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, Alyssa, take it away. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll start off with it. Uh, what what day is it? Um, how many days has the trial been going on? At least seven now, right? Or six? Feels like around a week. Yeah, it's been like a week now um of their trial johnny depp and um his ex-wife amber heard and um she he's suing her for defin defamation of like character and all that and um something else i can't recall and then she's suing him for domestic oh he's suing her for a, a domestic abuse too or not suing, however that works. Just like um, charging her. Yeah, is she, just charging. Is she suing him. And for she is. Yeah, and she's charging him for domestic abuse as well. Um. Mm. Uh, and I haven't seen like much of the trial, only like snippets from TikTok and YouTube. So mm -hmm. it's pretty biased and like favorable of Johnny Depp, honestly. But um, like. Amber Heard has done some pretty outrageous stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, the yeah, only thing nuts. I've actually heard that she's done, besides, like, beat the fucking guy, apparently, um, mm -hmm. the only thing that I've actually, like, heard and actually has been confirmed is that she legitimately shit on his side of the bed. Yep. That is the only yeah. thing I've heard. Blame it on the dogs. Yeah. That is, that mm -hmm. is fucking... Blame it on the little wild. teacup Yorkie dogs. <laughs> so, yeah, like, right, dude. I see, like, <laughs> wait, she blamed it on, like, a Yorkie? She yes. took a fat so. yeah. shit and blamed it on the tiny dog? Yep. <laughs> so funny. I mean, that's <laughs> fucked up for him, but, like... It's like a family guy gag. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, like, imagine this, though. Like, like, this chick was, uh, fucking, what's her name from Aquaman? I don't even remember what her name yeah. was. Mira. Right. Mira, yeah, she's Mira from Aquaman. Like, she was fine as fuck in that movie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. just no. insane. Try that again. <laughs> it was just, it, it, but like hearing this, like it's insane. Like she, mm -hmm. like doesn't yeah. seem the type to be like that. But obviously, I'm wait. Like if Johnny's saying it, I know there's something wrong. Like the guy's quiet. Otherwise, for sure. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't lie about something like this. Especially it the hurts. shitting on the side of the bed thing. It hurts to hear that someone has wronged, like, your idol so much. Like, someone that yeah. you've seen in so many great films. And then you hear, like, how could anyone treat him like that? Mm -hmm. I agree. I just don't get it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't all her. Like, they just together were a fucking mess like hearing all the like audio clips and videos and stuff that they've like recorded of each other during like when they were together it's pretty nuts like it wasn't just her he was he was definitely more passive about it though like he never started the physical stuff i'm pretty sure he's been saying but he would like be aggressive like slamming shit around and just like super passive aggressive and like I mean, yelling like, at her and shit i mean like how do you not though like holy shit like imagine yeah. like everything that he's had to deal with i can't imagine like yeah, i can't imagine I wouldn't be it's too like happy if someone shit on my bed <laughs> yeah, i'd be pretty mm -hmm. upset they both have also like done drugs while they were together well, I don't mm -hmm. know why. So, that's probably that why they been. were yeah, going that has, well like, a together. Lot to do with probably they were like a rich crack couple <laughs> yeah yeah probably actually yeah i never i haven't actually like seen johnny depp in such a long fucking time and then like seeing him at the trial he looks like uh 
Um, Who's the guy who who played in Machete? I don't know. Machete? Yeah. Uh, Danny Trejo? Danny Trejo. He looks like a mix of Danny Trejo and someone else, but I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> mm. He but was like, going to be in the Harry Potter movie. That, uh... Danny Trejo or Johnny Depp? What? For, what? The, Harry, for the Harry Potter movie. Uh, oh, uh, Johnny Depp. Before he was... Uh, Cancelled. Yeah, oh, canceled. and the Fantastic Beasts one. Wait, Johnny. Yeah. Why was Johnny cancelled? Because of this? Yeah, the yeah he's suing her for defamation of, uh, like yeah. his name, like slander. Like all her accusations of him, like made it harder for him to get hired for roles and stuff, right? Yeah, he lost a couple roles for sure. Mm-hmm. They prematurely cancelled him. But. So you so you're telling me John or John Will Smith can walk onto a stage, slap the shit out of Chris Rock, still get every single role that he still had, get I called a cuck Will by his wife. Smith stepped down from acting. What does that have to do with yeah, he's not acting anymore? Well, no, I'm just, just like happened. as like a comparison. Like I oh, mean, like Johnny right. Depp is going to court because he got the f- like the shit beat out of him and like just had a horrible relationship and he's getting justice for that well as will smith is holding on holding on to a like a cuck filled relationship and he didn't get like canceled but like johnny depp did like what the fuck i mean well johnny kind of is getting canceled for that right like people are kind of on chris rock's side about the whole thing yeah and yeah, I don't, I don't blame them. I, I think like, he is getting fined, or he's banned oh, from the yeah. Oscars, right? People even said that Jada doesn't have a medical medical condition, and that it was a scar, and the doctor said that she doesn't actually have, was it alopecia? Mm-hmm. Alopecia. Yeah, someone said that it was, like, from her eyebrow, um, Botox or some shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's true, but like, if it is, even more ridiculous. Celebrities suck. Fucking yeah. slapped. Cool yeah, they fucking suck. Uh, yeah. They're not cool anymore. They're not cool people. Mm-mm. They're like fucking losers. Maybe they like never were. The only people that have like stayed true since my existence has been the MCU actors, and like the only ones, like that's funny though too because like MCU actors, there's like what do you mean the MCU that, actors? Like Chris, all the Chris's and Robert Downey Jr. You uh, know, RJ Jr. was like a huge what? piece of shit back in the day. But I'm saying he's awake Ray right Larson. now. But yeah, no, no, that's where I was going with that. So with Brie Larson, at least we knew off the bat, like. At least we knew off the bat, like, she fucking sucks, so. Um, I don't know, I think MCU's pretty straightforward with that stuff. You 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 love Chris Evans. He's about to be the new Buzz Lightyear, so, like. Yeah. You know what I get out of Chris Evans? I feel like he's the type of guy that's, like, Homelander in real life. Where he's just, oh. like, playing on a show. He's like, hey, dude, what's up? And he's, like, secretly, like, jerking off, like, <laughs> to milk or something. Jesus. To milk. Have you seen uh, The Boys? Yeah, I've seen I, the first season. Yeah, so I kind of get Homelander vibes from him. Like, he's the... <laughs> he's like the golden boy for Disney. I don't know about... I don't know, Disney. I think he's a pretty cool guy in real life. Like, there's that one video of him drunk. At, um... I don't know if... Was it an That's after party? It was an awards or? thing, right? It was an awards thing, yeah. He was like drunk and he was being all silly and goofy. Mm-hmm. Goofy, silly man. I don't goofy see that guy man. like crossing boundaries even when he is drunk. Like I don't see him like ever being accused of like raping someone, which is like what you yep. think about with a lot of actors. He's well, real they are actors. Man. They could act yep. their way out of anything. That's why they don't They're let like out. actors go in courts in like Defend some themselves. Asian country. Because they're like, they can act their way out. They're fucking, uh, what? But, they're like, it's like witchcraft. They're witches. <laughs> yeah, kind of. The fuck? Um, I don't know. I think all celebrities have, like, a lot of leeway to do stupid shit. Like, Johnny Depp has obviously been into drugs. 
for a long ass time. That's probably why Amber kind of was intrigued by that. Just from my guess, that's probably why he stuck together because he had uh, a lot of hookups, connections. Yeah. What um? What got Amber Heard famous? That I is really a great question. Because it was her. not fucking Aquaman. I'll tell you that. <laughs> She had a cameo in Zombielands. She was the first zombie bitch that uh, what's his name killed. Wait, really? That was like he's the one. That's she's... Amber Heard. Mm-hmm. What? It's like uh, the girl from something. Uh, the chick the girl that was at the college, right? Yeah, his neighbor. Mm-hmm. That two seven or she's, something like that. She looked that. really fucking young. Yeah, she really did. How like speaking of which, what is the age difference between her and Johnny Depp? Because I know, sorry, I, I keep age difference out. between Amber and between Johnny. Who? Yeah, between Amber Johnny and, Johnny. and Amber. Uh, she's thirty six and he's fifty eight. Secure that bag, sis. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I think that wow. I think that has to be all it was. Kelly Kelly absolutely has a point. Like, Hold on, could okay. All of us. Can we imagine dating a one-year-old right now? Someone who's not even born? Come again. <laughs> they have a 22-year difference? That's pretty wild. I mean, people say age year difference. Isn't a number, is just a number when it comes to those things. But, like, 90% of the time, they're gold digging. That's a really big difference. 90% of the time. That's a really big difference. I mean, if your spouse is as old as your parent, there's something wrong. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like, I don't see that being healthy at all. Like, I feel like I mean, if you're dating someone that much older than you, then you, like, missed out on something with your actual parents. Yeah, you got parent issues. Amber Heard's actually been in, like, a shit ton of movies. Like, so many. Um, What's her first role? Her first? Oh, I don't know. Let me look that up specifically. So she was acting for a while before meeting Johnny Depp, right? Yeah, she's in yeah. there. Um, I didn't even know who she was until like way after Aquaman. Wait, yeah, uh, like less than a year. Really? What? What did? Yeah, you, I, I didn't realize. Did you learn that about her because of the trial or because of mm-hmm. something else? I think because of accusations that happened in the past, I remember Sam being like, oh, fuck that bitch from Aquaman. And I'm that like, bitch. who that? She's in um, Kenny Chesney's There Goes My Life. And I wasn't prepared. Don't know what either of those are, but... So Friday Amber Heard Lights. was not famous in the slightest, in my opinion. Nope. She I was think she was a... like D-lister. She was like a B list. She was definitely in bigger movies, but she was never really given that like big spotlight treatment until like Aquaman and then Johnny Depp. You think she was in a movie with Johnny Depp before they started dating? Because they were married. Well, actually, I don't know how long they were dating, but they were married from 2014 to 2016, right? Long marriage. That's That's what the trial has been saying, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, in the role that I saw that Johnny Depp was the lead in, she was in it, uh, was in 2011. Oh. Oh, she was in a Nicolas Cage movie, Drive no. Angry. Gross. No Drive one Angry? What kind of a fucking title is that? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a Nicolas Cage movie. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> uh, Magic Mike XXL. What? Really? Machete kills. One? She was in Machete. <laughs> I literally, it's a Danny Trejo mm-hmm. thing. The stepfather. Yeah. Um. Californication. What? Uh, Californication. We left some chili peppers. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> she's been all around. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how long this trial is going to fucking last, though. It seems like it's going forever. I don't fucking know. I I just want him to get justice. I don't think Depp deserves any of it. Vengeance, you mean? 
vengeance. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, the man of vengeance. <laughs> the um, are they gonna? There was a clip that he was reading a text he had sent her um, at the time, and he said something along the lines of, is the slippery whore that I loaned my jizz to for a while still there? That's like an X-rated <laughs> kid. Like, can't, can't come to Discord. Right? That yes. was pretty... That was an Why would they read again? that in a trial? That's like... They shouldn't be that's not an abuse thing, all, that's just right? their sexy, freaky, deaky, kinky talk. That's not kinky talk, that's straight <laughs> yeah, that up disrespect. Yeah, that was a kinky talk, yeah, that was disrespectful. <laughs> it was Probably straight because... up slander. No, that's uh, straight up to... kinky talk. Uh, no, he said, is that one bitch I nutted in a, like, I nut... Yeah, is that slippery whore I loaned my jizz to for a while. It's like past uh... tense, like, they're not together. Like, he's was it to her, her or to a friend? To her. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of sounds like is my little cum slut there? You know that kind of thing. I get um, that vibe too. No, I, I, I feel it seems like a kind of kinky thing. I feel way more of like an Xbox Live like dispute out of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird ass message to send. That's though. pretty fucking yeah, talented. Right? That's why he gets paid. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. It's a poet. Yeah. He's a poet. <laughs> these aren't these guys should be fucking paid. This is entertaining as shit. <laughs> yeah, they're getting paid for the trial. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. That should be a TV show, like actors having fake disputes and acting their way out. <laughs> they're improvising. That'd be cool. Oh yeah. Huh? And but um, one thing about the trial, the lawyers, the way they like question. The witnesses or like Johnny, it just sounds I so keep, fucking dumb. I especially Amber's so life. redundant. I keep on seeing shit like that on TikTok, and like it makes me think mm -hmm. like it, like like this... is that actually happening? Because like there was yeah. one, where was one where it's just like, yeah. Johnny, is this a picture of you next to the stuffed gorilla? And he's like, uh, yeah. And he's like, hearsay. He's like, what? Hearsay, hearsay, <laughs> hearsay, hearsay. I'm like, I answered your question, and like the judge mm -hmm. is like, Johnny, answer the question. I answered the fucking question. <laughs> so I don't like, and yeah, then there's like one is just like, you, did you or did you not play Captain Jack's? Oh, Jesus, cousin, I'm cutting out. Did you or did you not play Captain Jack Sparrow? <laughs> like, what the what? fuck? Um, there was one where. He was questioning Johnny Depp's best friend, and he was, or she was holding up this cream called Amica cream or something like that, and it like helps with bruises. And she's all like, "Do you know what Amica cream is?" And he's like, "No." She's like, "Do you know um, if Am or if Miss Heard uses Amica cream?" And he's like, "No." He's like, "Do you know she used it on this certain day?" And he's like, "No." She's like, "Do you know she applied it right before you got there?" He's like, no. And she's like, do you know if she ever used this on that day? And he laughed. And he's like, no. I mean, she's you like, could have just skipped all those questions with the first questions answer. Yeah. It's after, like, like it's been more complex after. Four times. Do you know if she used her index finger and her thumb finger to apply that cream? <laughs> do you know when and at what time she shits like what the fuck and then it was like the same thing she has like five questions all involving him kissing her cheek when he greets her like like, like how hard she or how the hard pressure he her cheek. like yeah like what does it's this like, prove dude i don't know if she like, hired, you kiss she the hired cheek clowns. two times and he's like no i'm not italian <laughs> no, <I'm> not <laughs> he's got the dumbest fucking lawyer <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I keep seeing shit like that. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Mm -hmm. like, oh, and one thing that Amber said in the trial, or her lawyer, she said that she carried this like one little makeup thing the whole uh, time they were in a relationship. It was Milani. Yeah. yeah, so Amber said that she carried around the same exact makeup thing 
with her like all the time throughout the relationship to like cover up bruises or something Mm -hmm. and then later on the company that made that makeup thing like exposed amber for lying because they didn't release that makeup thing until well after their relationship ended yeah like the Uh... product didn't release until 2017 and they got divorced in 2016 that's so yeah. fucking funny when you think about it. Great up imagine, fucking lies. So imagine it's like, like... <laughs> this lawyer didn't even fact check and is up mm-hmm. there holding fake evidence. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine like putting together a trial. Sorry, imagine putting together a trial and like a whole ass company comes for you. Like <laughs> they're just like right? actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are on Johnny's side. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's how it's going to end. Pretty yeah. biased. I mean, um, Amber Heard sounds like she came from nothing, and that's where she's like, that's where she's going to go. Like, I don't, I don't fucking care. I was asking, I was asking my parents earlier, I was like, how on earth did they find a jury that isn't going to be biased towards Johnny Depp during this trial? She's like, they just illegally have to, otherwise the judge will call them stupid for not <laughs> looking at the facts. And I'm like, I guess that's true. But like... Yep. I mean, you hear the lawyer at all and you're going to be like, oh, uh, mm-hmm. I'm on this guy's side. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? I don't know. Anyway, um, that's enough for the fucking herd depth shit. Um, I, yeah. I do hope that... I do hope it goes in his favor, but you know. Mm-hmm. Um, the next thing we are going to discuss here is Castle. Uh, if you guys didn't know that's his name, Kelly, you don't really have an input on this, but Apex Season well, I... oh. 13? Yep. Why are you talking yeah. about Rainbow Six Siege? Nah. <laughs> Castle from Apex Season 13 is Jackson. We watched the trailer, and I'm not shocked at all. I knew it. No. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure everyone him knew it. As soon as it started. Yeah. Ha. Uh, I I need to stop because my brother, who's this guy replacing me? <laughs> yeah, girl, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. It's, it's like this clown is replacing me. I was like, okay, that's Jackson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was a pretty cool like trailer thing though. Oh, I like oh the trailer. Oh my god, yeah. that cute little Valk and Lobo moment. Oh, they're that's fucking cute. official. Like now. when they were sitting together at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cute, and I like how Bangalore is like sad about it but like she had her chance Mm -hmm. but at the same time it's like it's like Mm -hmm. ah well i'm kind of happy for him like she like checked on them that was nice even though lobo's been a bitch yeah oh when loba locked walked up to bangalore rev like grunted and then walked away i thought that was oh yeah i've never seen rev in a cinematic party but I mean, it was in the, I guess it was in the dropship, so that kind of made sense. True, couldn't But I've, like, that. literally yeah. never seen him, like, interacting at a party. He mm-hmm. popped a balloon, it was pretty fitting. <laughs> what about that one girl? The new one, Maggie? Where is she well, at? She wasn't there. Also, I thought about this after the fact, so there's the, there's the giant crab thing. Where the fuck was, like, Bloodhound? Like, I feel like that was right up his alley, but Wraith, Blood, mm-hmm. and Maggie were not in that trailer. Neither, Neither was Lifeline. Lifeline, yeah. Watson was. Yeah. But uh, uh-huh. his abilities look pretty cool. I think his passive is being able to drag teammates with, like, a shield up. Yeah. That looks pretty Dragging good. Them. Yeah. Uh, his Thanks. attack, I think, is, like, a throwable shield, kind of like how... It's like Lifeline's Sig- thing. I don't want to Sigma say it's like how Sigma, watch. yeah. Yeah, kind of. That's cool. I heard like had like an arm shield. What was that? Yeah. yeah, I can't tell if that's gonna be like how Gibby's is. I think it, it looked might like be. a passive yeah. thing because he was like blocking and shooting at the and same sh- time. Yeah, maybe he can only do it with like one handed, like like pistols, hmm. or like if he's like hip firing. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. But um, I saw when like when he like drags, he can like also revive with the shield. I think. I'm pretty sure. So just lifeline. (laughs) Yeah. Except for without the AFK shit. So new healer? No, he's he's still defense for sure. You don't make a healer in Castle. Mm. 
it's not kind it's not really like Gibby shit like he does res faster and whatever inside his bubble but like i don't know i fucking hate i i think we still need another support rather than fucking more defense yeah. more dps yep. i mean Good. like the next five or ten legends got leaked aren't some of them healers I have no idea. Have I haven't here. looked at that at all because I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, don't want to mm-hmm. spoil it. So. Is so Bangalore probably... gay? That's probably a dumb yeah. question, but she is? Uh, she's, she's kind definitely of obviously in... into uh, women. I don't know about like exclusively women, but. Yeah, but definitely into them. But definitely women. into them, yeah. yeah. Uh, she, <laughs> like. So, like, Loba was into Bangalore, because Bangalore was, like, there for her, and then Bangalore gets cured of whatever she was going through. Loba tries to bring her flowers, and she, like, overhears Bangalore being like, oh, me and her, we're just friends. And then Loba Mm -hmm. immediately immediately rebounds into Valk, which ends up being, like, even better, because I think that's a cute couple. And Bangalore's like, buh, buh, buh. But us, <laughs> like fucking. Yeah. I think she took uh, Tricox again. Tricox again. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> that is a gargoyle behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Little Tigger. She is vengeance. She is oh. vengeance. She is the knight. Perching on that. <laughs> mm-hmm. You. you know what I was thinking about, actually? Little little fucking segue there. I was thinking about how... Uh, sorry if I keep cutting out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um, in that movie, when the commissioner um, was, like, saying all that, like, why did he go on for so long? Like, he just had a whole speech to this little-ass kid. Like, what the fuck? What, was, what, what, what part are you talking about? Where like he's just like, why are they hunting him? And he was like, because he's not the he's the hero he's the hero the city deserves. And it's like oh, and, and then the it just goes night? on the whole monologue. Yeah, it's like <laughs> what I mean, the it was, fuck? He's like sucking his dick night. without even being there. Like <laughs> he was being so well. Weird. They were like partners. Yeah, but like you don't. Know, like, you and me are friends. I'm not gonna hype you up to that fucking much. Like, it's Jesus a fucking Christ. superhero movie, dude. He is vengeance. He is the knight. What kind of shit is that? Why would you say that? <laughs> what kind of normal person says that? Okay, Commissioner, that was kind of cringe. Um... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was a little cringe. And then Your gay another... is showing. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's also, like another thing too uh hector sent me this as well people are saying like oh if we can get no way home we can we can get all three of the batman together no no <laughs> shut jesus up Christ, just shut fucking fuck. getting that shit jesus i don't like why in the fuck would you want that we already have yeah, too batman. much batman jesus that just tired me out that was fucking dumb as shit yeah <laughs> everyone's like oh but um <laughs> Kelly, did you know that for for the new Batman, it was supposed to be Ben Affleck? Really? Really? Apparently, yeah. Like, they wanted to cast him for it, but he declined it because of um, medical or something. He had, like, an alcohol addiction, and he was working through it. Well, I believe that, but, like, yeah. I mean, not good on that part, but good that he's not Batman anymore. Yeah. Bro, he was like an that. awful <laughs> Batman. Yeah, we we need to sign Ron Patterson for a couple more fucking movies. He's my favorite. I haven't seen it yet, but so not no in a bit. Spoilers. But not for a while. Do not make any more Batman content for a while. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. So I wouldn't mind. In like two years, we're gonna get a new one. Two years, sure. Make some shit between though. Like they'd have to start filming now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Fucking film now, but fucking release. Fucking Shazam, Flash, Wonder Woman, a good Wonder Woman, fuck, for fuck's sake. Or, uh, like, oh uh. Oh, like, not I even like the so Justice League, maybe. 
Maybe not even like the Justice League. Like maybe focus on someone smaller. The Green Arrow. They're not going to do Justice League, or they're not going to have the Flash in Justice League anymore, right? Or is no, 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 no. That guy's a fucking jail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I didn't so know that. Problematic now. I don't know when that happened either, because he always seemed like such a stand-up guy. Yeah, I don't know, but he like fucked up Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> then what was it? He just threw a chair at someone, or? I don't. I don't know the specifics. Does anyone uh, know? I don't know anything yeah. about it. I just yes. heard that he was in jail. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I thought you like, just threw a chair at someone. I, I like how Alyssa worded that. He fucked up Hawaii. He <laughs> fucked the up whole Hawaii. fucking island. Like, he was just like <laughs> crashing parties and like. It's like a kid's birthday party. Hell. Ah, Marissa Miller. <laughs> well, he's throwing chairs. Yeah. yeah. Being like, the worst. Uh, Henry Cavill is. is is like the whole Justice League, like the big like six people, they're all fucked. Except oh, probably yeah. Cyborg, but Cyborg is not yeah. big enough to like lead the Justice League. No. Like Superman is gone, Batman's gone. I don't know what the fuck Wonder Woman is doing. A Cyborg Aquaman movie would maybe? be cool. No, actually, like thinking about it, since he's such like an under like a not super well known origin character, I think it'd be cool. Because, like, think about, like, the demographic, right? There's a lot people, of room. People who are watching uh, Justice League to this day are kind of hoping to, like, get the nostalgia from, like, from, like, Young Justice or, like, uh, mm. Teen Titans or something like that. Like, it's Yeah, I was going to say, I want a Teen Titan movie. Yeah, but they you, made you can't have Titan Teen show. Titans without, like, the Justice mean, League the being, like, pretty one. much wrapped up. Because, like, you need Damian Wayne or uh, Dick uh, I feel like we should have gotten at least a Robin movie, like, ten years ago or something. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Robin is not going to bring in anything. He has I to. Thought, <laughs> no. I thought I they were going to lead so into something Robin. after Christian Bale's movies with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Because he's Robin. I think they definitely uh, have a room for one. a Robin movie. I think I think that's pretty cool. I think maybe yeah. Nightwing. Nightwing would most See, likely get a spin-off yeah, movie. They... But you need a Robin to begin with, though. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. You would introduce a Robin into a Batman movie. You don't need a Robin spin-off movie. That's too damn much. Um, I mean, I for think Cyborg, it could be I would Robin. That'd be a cool Nightwing. movie. It'd be cool if he was like the leader of the team tie in since he is a part of the Justice League and he started it. But he started his the personality in the. No. No. I, I think just Dick like he started them, the... right? Huh. Didn't Dick I don't, I'm not too sure. I, I, can't, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, um, I think so. I mean, in the original, like, little uh, quote unquote anime TV show. Uh, they had back in the day, it was Dick Grayson that was the Robin that was there. But, like, in Young Justice, the Teen Titans um, started with, like, Kid Flash and, like, Dick Grayson and Starfire is, like, leading them and shit like, shit like that. And, like, mm. uh, Beast Boy came later on and shit like that. I don't know. And, like, Raven was dating Damian Wayne or something. So... Is that Young Justice or those movies? Uh, like the, I'm pretty sure it's both. Is it the not? Judi- Judi- Judas, Judas contract? Judas, like Judas that? contract yeah. was yeah. That's where I remember seeing them. It doesn't sound dating. like Young Justice much. Yeah. But I mean, I think like as far as like a Robin standalone movie, uh, Damien would be pretty cool. I think. Or Damien, Damien or has Jason. Four. Jason, t- a Red Hood movie would be f- would be fucking sick. I think. But you have to like be like pretty careful with that because like that involves the Joker, and you don't want to fuck it up. <laughs> so yeah, it's there's so many Jokers right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's good more Jokers than Batman. Yeah, I think there's really a fucking new Joker in the Batman, right? Yeah, 
I it was cool, liked though. that little scene with him. I'm really surprised at the casting for it, though. It was really mm-hmm. good. I liked it. What were you saying there, Kelly? You you kept on saying I think I think, and then Alyssa was so rude. What were you saying? Sorry, I just <laughs> ad. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. It's irrelevant. Oh. Then oh. fuck off. It, it's irrelevant. <laughs> okay, Jeremy's about to go to bed. So I'm gonna... Mine was more important. What? Fuck. Good night, yeah. Jeremy. Nine. What the fuck? Yeah, he has to work at six o'clock. So. I should probably Sleep well, Jeremy. switch these then. You'll probably hear him snoring in a couple minutes. Did you just yell at you for saying that? Hmm? It sounded like he yelled because he heard you. I heard I that. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Did he say that? No, I don't think so. I okay. didn't hear anything. I like the DC has a lot of cool potential. I loved what they did with the Suicide Squad. They just like had existing characters just came up. I really like that. Um, I think just I I think a, a good thing to do is to work off of smaller characters, like probably Green Arrow or just little characters like that. I think it'd be really cool because we've That's already got true. stories based around the big fucking three: Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And right. it's like, it doesn't have to evolve around them all the time. So I think they should just branch out. But people aren't going to be willing to go see a movie that like, by with a character they don't even know. See, yeah, you know, other than like the super nerds. And then, but like the super nerds then tell everyone else like, oh, this was a great movie. I have said it before on the podcast. I had no idea that um what's its fuck was uh marvel i had no idea Um, what's its fuck sorry let me just fix this really quick uh what that uh star lord uh guardians of the galaxy i had no idea that was marvel they were not well-known characters whatsoever no one knew who the fuck they were and then it's like it was this great movie and then everyone all of a sudden is like Oh shit, that's Marvel. Like that just makes it so much better. Like you you look at like Green Arrow and like especially with Stefan Amell. Stefan Amell may not have had the best situation for him for Dude, Green Arrow. Fix your audio. I fucking hate you. Anyway, um <laughs> Not our fault. I know. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I just lash out sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so Stefan Amell did not have a great uh situation with green arrow but he was still a great green arrow i think he'd be fucking stupendous in like a well thought out movie um and that would just say like, weren't black you canary like too. black canary black canary too yeah well not not arrows black canary i don't i don't think any of them have potential sorry i don't think any of them have potential <laughs> Potential uh, for Black Canary. We need to finish the sentences. Yeah, you guys are just gotta start filling in your gaps. So I, so the 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 podcast. You did say you were gonna talk less this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> talk a lot. you know, what? take it, it take it away. Fuck, fuck this. I'm, uh, E3 uh, guys, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. I'm there was one thing I wanted to address. Um, okay. So you guys kind of like shitted on Christian Bale's Batman voice, right? Like, it was kind of like a meme thing, whatever. But Green Arrow does it, like, way more cringe, honestly. Like, he takes it to another fucking level. That's because they were trying to base his Green Arrow off of off of Batman. <laughs> were they? Yes, right. like, all the villains he had were Batman villains. Were Batman villains. Oh. Were they? Yeah, almost really? every single one. Except for Dark Archer. What about um, I forget his name, the one uh that was on the island with him. He had the mask, half mask. Was it a half mask? Wait, what? The, like the first, like big antagonist. Was that not Dark Archer? Dark Archer was like the so. first big one. I don't think it was Dark Archer. 
And then there is uh, it wasn't Damien Dark or some shit it? like that. Oh yeah, no, dead no uh fucking Deathstroke. Yeah, no, that's totally a Death fucking Stroke, Batman yeah. villain. What? Seemed like a green arrow villain, but I don't no. know. I think he'd be kinda cooler as one, in my opinion, but he's definitely a Batman villain. He's like, and he's also like an anti-hero, like he's, he's not really like, uh, like a villain because he has done good stuff, but he's a mercenary. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah, moving on. E three, E three is dead, but they're gonna continue doing uh, video game stuff for the summer. I'm super excited for uh, Bethesda's thing in the summer. Bethesda's um, still alive. So, here's here's the sitch. Here's the situation. So Bethesda is known for uh, announcing like so their big game right now is going to be Starfield. That's going to be the next big game, and I think it's going to be released within this year because right when Fallout Four was coming out in 2016 or 2015, there were uh, there was talks about it, but like no one's like really official. So when like a trailer or a, a teaser came out for like two months before summer i was like what the fuck and then they released it in november like that's so fucking crazy and i think that's what they're going to be doing with starfield hmm. i think i saw so, a little um, bit i have a whole starfield. list pulled up here for like um what is announced and what's going to be announced uh you said starfield mm-hmm Need a no, I don't. Wait, star. No, I don't see it in the to be announced list. So maybe I got my here. fingers and toes crossed. I can't wait to Cross see it. Cross those toes, uh, baby. <laughs> um. But yeah. So E three was canceled this year for both physical and digital. And because no one they... cares about it. <laughs> I don't know, they, what was it, for the first year in 2020, I think they did it online, and then last year they didn't do it, or the other way around? Uh, I think last year they had an in-person, and uh, Moist Critical actually made a video on this, and just discussed, like, how unimportant E3 is now. Yeah. Like back yeah, in the day, E3 used to probably be pretty big because they're just like YouTube wasn't fully developed. Uh, stri- uh, Twitch streams for E3 weren't fully developed, and so like it, it's it's kind of like redundant. Like it's like reading a magazine at this point. So is <laughs> E3 like, is it like a awards kind of thing or? It's just it's a like game thing. No, yeah, it's, it's like, just like a an, an announcing new new content type new stuff, thing, like yeah. promotional, really, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's it's yeah. uh that's where like, Cyberpunk was announced was announced, and mm-hmm. Keanu Reeves was like, "You're breathtaking." Mm-hmm. So. E three had some bomb ass moments, especially Bethesda's uh twenty sixteen when they announced like. Uh, the new Wolfenstein game, I think Doom, then like uh, the Evil Within two, and then Fallout Fallout four. Oh my God! If you have time, watch it. It's so fucking breathtaking. It's so cool. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. like I'm so bummed that it's gone, but I know they'll. They'll make up for it, the companies will, because a lot of people expect it to be announced something. So I have faith that something big is going to be shown. I genuinely mm-hmm. feel like we just don't need it at this point. Um, like I said, it's like reading a fucking magazine. I, I like the idea of like all these, of all these uh, companies coming out on stage like, oh, check this out, check this out, check this out. But like it. It's just not entertaining anymore. It's basically it's basically just like you pay for a watch along. Like you're gonna see yeah. the trailer drop regardless. And it's like I don't know, you can watch it at home, it doesn't really matter. Um I what... thought I heard someone say that it was E3 was cancelled because of Elden Ring. 
because it's doing so well. So, like, no one's really gonna care about anything. <laughs> no else. one's gonna give a shit. So I like that theory. That theory's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that theory. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that theory. 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 Yeah, I like that
They're like, oh, the new COD's out. Can't wait to can't wait to get in there. Like, yeah. it's like buying McDonald's with food stamps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty good way of putting that. I I think um, like it really does suck, but like when you have the community you have like i'm using call of duty as an example because because like from modern warfare to now jesus like just jesus christ like no holy shit well from what i've heard for the new modern warfare which is the new one that's gonna there's a new call of duty it's gonna groundbreaking it's gonna be evolution it's gonna be a whole new war built off of it oh i'll believe it when i see it I don't fucking care for Warzone. Yeah, no. Uh, not really. What? I just want they, more. They either fix like, their anti cheat. Deathmatch, search, destroy. Fix their anti cheat. Fucking fix their match. Their skill based matchmaking. Fucking fix all the. Like, they just. Like, before they fix any of that import, that important shit. They fix, like, the fun glitches. Like, where you, like, clip up through walls. Like, that shit's hilarious. <laughs> and then they're oh, like, oh, game breaking. Game breaking. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's not even game breaking. <laughs> you can clearly suit the dude that's flying into the air. <laughs> but, uh, I whatever. Like Warzone, but I had to stop because of Vanguard. That shit got so dumb. Let's keep going 40 years backwards. And it's, that's so lame. Why I don't do want they to be they keep doing that? And guess what the next event is for Warzone? It's King Kong versus Godzilla. I thought the yeah, attack on let Titan that fucking sink stupid. in. That sounds. Are they gonna be on the map or? Yeah, they're gonna be fighting on the map. Yeah. Which is kind of cool, but Fortnite did it first. Kind of, but what? That's Fortnite. That's Fortnite did Fortnite. it first. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> I think they're just running out of ideas. I think they're trying to withstand the life of Vanguard as much as possible, but that game is that fucking game sucks. Is cheeks. You know they added yeah. like uh kill card covers. Yeah. In the shop. And then they had Snoop Dogg. Oh That's so God. dumb. So fucking dumb. You can you can just get a celebrity to say it's cool and all of a sudden That's like another thing too, like as long as Snoop as long as Snoop Dogg likes it his whole fan base Ooh. will like it's yeah. just it's just dumb yeah i hope we get another modern warfare situation where it's oh the big call of duty i love that shit yeah mm -hmm. the last modern warfare like it had its flaws but like it was never this bad i don't think I, it I held it itself just, up like, to a good fun. it held itself up to like a serious standard it never went above and beyond with over the top goofiness like they did with like these stupid bundles um yeah. they I mean, always I didn't had, like, like how they did the whole like season thing and like battle pass thing i think that so i've said that a million times i don't think that any fucking game should have a battle pass unless it's for unless it's fortnite and apex like yeah. it does it like halo has one now and it makes no it makes no fucking sense like why yeah, it's a uh, free game Splitgate also has it. Makes no fucking sense. Like, why are there micro chat? That's another reason. Like Elden Ring, like Elden Ring's above all this. We don't get skins. We make our fucking armor. We fucking you don't. There's no micro transactions. DLCs, DLC is free. Like, this is what we've been waiting for. This is how it was. Like, what the fuck? The DLC for Elden Ring. Yes. It's not free. It's probably gonna be fourteen dollars. Well, if it's like, it's well, well, at the same time, they're yeah. probably delivering like a whole ass new area. Yeah. So yeah. probably worth it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> we didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but I see what you mean. It's if it's going to be DLC from Elden Ring. Yeah, it's going to be pretty big. They're going to cram a shit ton of stuff in it. It's going to be worth it. You get a lot of bang out your buck. Exactly. What well, well, you fucking do that in COD, you get like a weed calling card. Yay. The fuck? Well, Activision's not that egregious compared to EA. 
Um, yes, no, EA overcharges, like, the fuck out of people, for sure. Apps, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat that. Apex charges way too much. They just came out with Blood's Prestige skin on Apex, and it was like $160. Cheap. The fuck? For a skin. For a skin in a first-person shooter. If yeah. you also look at The Sims 3's downloadable content, because they all were, like... So they have stuff packs, which are usually five bucks, game packs, which are usually twenty, and then expansions, which are forty. But in Sims Three, they are all capped at twenty dollars. Even the ones that are supposed to be five bucks, capped at twenty dollars. So the whole entire Sims Three experience would be around like two hundred and something dollars. What the fuck? No. But they usually get like a bunch of holiday stuff. Like I got mine during Christmas, so all of it was eighty dollars. But still, that's fucking crazy. That for a game that came out in 20, 2011. Yeah. No, yeah, it's just it's just fucking ridiculous. You need to get a cheaper hobby, guys. I'm tired of this. Let's go hiking. Oh, no, I'm sick of gaming. That's why I'm like. <laughs> that's why it's like. <laughs> We're tired of it, guys. We're just I'm like make candles I'm and do pottery. <laughs> Let's do damn fam. <laughs> I gotta get... This is why I got into 3D printing right here. I'm <laughs> But, like, Elden Ring, like, it's the goddamn gold standard. Like, gold standard. fucking mm. bugs addressed immediately. They <laughs> listen to their fan base. They fucking, like... All these people who, like, are like, Elden Ring sucks. Like, all you play is COD! Like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Fucking expand, like jeez, like I, it's fine if Elden Ring's not your kind of game, but no one should be able to argue that it that it's like the gold standard. Like fuck. Yeah. I'm still mm. finding new stuff. I like I'd never even heard of in Elden mm. Ring. That's crazy. And that's. Yeah. There's Those lists like... you can find online that show like every different thing you can get and achieve. You just check them off. Oh. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's what like RPG should be like. I was watching videos on, like, say Fallout Four, and Fallout Four just has like this, this like, fucking like, uh, like circle they have to go up through. It's like exploration, uh, gathering, and fighting, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's like that for every single fucking thing. It's just, it's not expansive. It's as shallow as a puddle. And that's what a lot of these games are. I think what uh, Elden Ring really does right, it's like, it's the master of I can do this later. Like, you're stuck on Malekith. You don't have to fight him right then. That's fine. Yeah. Just come back Open when, world, man. Just come back when you're fucking overpowered. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, also, uh, Elden Ring, uh, something that it's like really good about that is that it doesn't really have a marker, like a marker system. It has all the graces you can fast travel that's fine but it doesn't have like like a like you're on the map it doesn't say like hey this guy this guy right here oh, motherfucker it's like getting out a lot but it's like this guy <laughs> will give you a quest like no it's just oh look yeah oh, you discover it yourself like oh yep, wow this whole it, area yeah. that's crazy that's crazy so i mean they mark npcs you've already like ran into right some of them but that's that's like more convenience of like oh where the fuck is d now you know what i mean yeah well, which it's still like very subtle in my opinion yeah it's kind of cool running into those characters that you met before mm -hmm. it's like oh this like, is here like, yep. yeah like nefeli i ran into her when i was trying to do another quest and i was like hey girl what's up mm -hmm. i think i did too actually <laughs> Up. Was it like under that uh that cave thing? She was like That's under where a she bridge. is originally, I think. No, originally she's uh by Godric. And then she goes to the round table and then she goes somewhere else. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Oh yeah. E three. E three. Um <laughs> yeah, so one of the games that announced are going to be announced is called Strays or Stray. 
And I specifically wanted to talk about this one because I saw it on TikTok and I thought specifically Alyssa would be interested in it. Is because it cat does it involve cats? <laughs> it's a cat game and it's pretty cool looking. Um oh I pulled up the, the like teaser trailer for it because I wanted to like let you watch. I don't know if you want to do it during the podcast or not. Oh, oh yeah, I've time. seen this before. Yeah, That's it cool. looks pretty cool. I think it was first like a concept or something a couple years ago, maybe. But it's going to be released this year. And yeah, here, let me see. What's the. Maybe I could just stream it. Yeah, it's yeah, like um, you play as a stray cat. And. Oh, there's robots. That's cool. There's a little That's robot you run into. I'm gonna watch this, this does look kind of cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. Do you get to customize your cat? I fucking hope so. It'd be cool if you could change or choose like your breed or whatever. Um, I'll be a breed. Himalayan. Uh, fuck. of course you're streaming. I can't fucking. Oh, <laughs> I said I was gonna the web, stream. The it. webcams are fucked up because of it. That's why I said no. They are. Yes. How? What you want me to explain it, Honk? Oh, Just I see. Jesus. Okay, I, I, said, I said I was going to stream in. I told you not to. Oh. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I but you can't hear me. But we got the gist of it. It's a straight cat video game. Yeah. yeah. Trailer by myself. And like, um, yeah. It's just doing like the trailer. But I was I saw like a little gameplay of it. And it looked pretty cool. You could like jump around and shit. And I'm oh. like, when you run into a, a robot drone or whatever... It's like asleep, and then you walk up to it, and it wakes up, and then the cat does like the oh. scared cat jump. It's only on the PlayStation, or what? This is PS Five. Yeah, I was oh, about to ask: is it an, ex is it an yeah. exclusive or what? Um, it says PC. Sick. PlayStation Four, Five, and PC. Oh, don't... sick. This is why PC is superior. We get we get PC. the fucking after fucking war shit. We got God That's of a War. Cute cat. We did. When are we gonna get Last of Us? I'm gonna get that. That'd be cool. Yep. Spider Man. Um. No. There's some other cool games I saw are gonna be announced. I see um, Pokemon Violet. Um, Pokemon Rose and Violet, I think it is, or some shit like yep. that. And then there's gonna be a trading Pokemon card PP live Poo -poo. game. Yeah. There's gonna be a new um, Uncharted. Interesting. Um, no Man's Sky. I do Uncharted? Switch. Excuse me? Yeah, what was the name of it? Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. Oh, uh, no, that's... So it's uh, like a Master Chief Collection. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's like 4 and The Lost Legacy together. Oh, uh, well, there's going to be a Demon Slayer game. Is it a fighting mm -hmm. game or a story game? I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's going to be a fighting, fighting game. game. Kind of like yeah, the Naruto... Stormfighters thing. Mm -hmm. Popular anime really franchise. Slap the button, it's anime game. Fighting mm -hmm. game. Yeah. Uh One Piece Odyssey. Ooh, I think I've seen that. That shit looks crazy. That looks good. I'm not even lying. Nerd stuff. Uh there's gonna be a Moss book too. That'll be cool. Don't even know what Saints that is. Row. Saints Row? What? Yeah, there's a new Saints Row. That's pretty cool. Um not really. Oh. <laughs> they look like art students. They do not look like gangsters. Well, Lara I mean, Croft in the Guardian of Light. What? A new Tomb Raider? That's an nice. old game. That's an old one, though. Oh, is it remastered? Maybe. Where are you it's getting this? <laughs> um, I don't know. Some of these are like already released. I just I was just reading it because it sounded funny. There's a JoJo game. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That'd be cool mm -hmm. if there was like like a whole season that was just like a game where they would treat it like a show. Like it shows off a family member. Never mind. It's too ambitious. Yeah, I, I was, it's yeah, too yeah, I, didn't, uh, I didn't really yeah. track it there. I, I was I got a little lost in the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> 
I am Jesus Christ. That's apparently a game. <laughs> I'm buying that. Can I pre-order? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I so I want to at some point in the podcast. That is a perfect. That is a perfect segue. At some point in the podcast, I want to dig into religion. I want to talk about it. Yeah, I I I know uh, I've said like I don't want to like I don't want to get like political or anything like that. That's just <laughs> boring and annoying. But I want to like religion's fun. It's fun because I want to talk about how how like goofy. Sorry, how goofy it is. A lot of religions are goofy. Maybe that's fun. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe that's less fun. You were Actually, like the I last standing this. believer in this group. Yeah. yeah, the last standing. Someone had to hold the no, cross to you, to you sinners. Isn't Tyler? Oh. oh no. Tyler, well, he did go to this... youth group. I don't count him. He doesn't talk to us anymore. True, he don't. Yeah, he's too busy saving lives in Poland, Hawk. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's too good for us. <laughs> saving lives at the cat cafes and... At the cat cafes. <laughs> German bars. He didn't even tell us. He went to a Hello? cat cafe. Excuse well, me. once you're in the military, you'll get a lot of other friends. And yeah. they're all on the same wavelength, so... God, it feels yeah. so yeah. fucking weird. You won't talk to our lowly gamers. <laughs> what are but a you, lot of military gamer? are gamers. Yeah, that one time he was. They play yeah, COD. And talk smack about him. We love Tyler here. Huge <laughs> fan. <laughs> There's like straight up proof that military only play COD. What is Tyler's best game? COD. What is oh, Eric's is only so game that he played? Game. COD Zombies. Excuse. Yeah, he's fighting zombies now. See. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yep. yep. Uh, what else did we have on that fucking list? I already forgot. I think that's everything. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about that one, the last one that I put in. What was it? I can't like look the, at it. The um, I think James Webb or the Webb Telescope that they launched at the end of last year to replace the Hubble. I have no idea what you're talking about. Go for it. Yeah, so there's a satellite telescope that they launched. It's like new high tech. It's going to replace the Hubble telescope. It's for taking pictures of the vastness of space. Oh. And so this new one that they launched, it's got like a way better, more magnified camera that has better infrared imaging. Um cuz the Hubble one apparently wasn't too good at that. And so they're trying to see further out into space see what's out there into like other galaxies maybe but i honestly i think they should start in our fucking galaxy because we don't even know what's in our own we don't even galaxy. know what's in our ocean yeah we just know That's like true. our own solar system but there's a whole other rest of the galaxy that it, we don't know shit about isn't it so interesting that we know more about space than we than we do about the ocean that's Don't crazy, know. yeah. I think about that sometimes. I actually, I, I feel like that's so not terrifying. True. Like we know a lot of uh, about the organize, uh, organize, <laughs> organizations in the ocean, right? <laughs> Fucking mob boss fishes, Jesus. No, <laughs> but like we know a lot about the organisms, uh, at least ones that we can get to, but we don't know what's below that and i always find that so interesting yeah, like i wonder nuts. what's down there we're seriously like the most fucking naive people like things ever well, we like, don't know I shit we don't know that, that there's not something down there mm -hmm. pretty uh ignorant i think i'm trying to find atlantis dude some oh, yeah. people are always saying like well what happens when the alien like when the aliens invade or like when they uh when they actually get to Earth, like what happens? And it's like, I don't think they're thinking that far ahead. <laughs> like, I mean, think about us. Like, what would we do? What would we do? Ugh. What Dude. would we I do? Know. What would we do if we ran into um, aliens? Oh. Oh, fuck no. Like, it's like, oh. Take them to our leader? Shit, you're here. Okay. Um. 
<laughs> Joe Biden stuttering the entire fucking time. <laughs> hey, uh, bye, I, 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 okay, uh, you have, a, you have a gorgeous to planet fact. here. It really is the best. It really is. Um, I'm glad you guys are stopped here to <laughs> greet your leader. <laughs> Welcome to America. You'll you'll get along with us just fine. I know it. I know. I love aliens. My best friend's an aliens. alien. Their pussies touch are fa- awesome. Are fantastic. <laughs> You're both honestly kind of good at the Trump voice. I was I was on the alien side for Alien Honky vs Predator. Turn. I don't know if you know that. Nope. I met an You're probably alien. really good too. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I can't even do the Bahaha blast thing. Bahaha blast. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. <Bobby. No. laughs> the Baha Blast. <laughs> oh, God. God. Let me take a sip of the Baha Blast. Baha Blast. Oh Kelly, yours is a lot more essential and seductive. Yeah, a lot deeper. <laughs> God damn. Blast. Louis is a Baha Blast. <laughs> oh my God. You sound like Elvis is trying. <laughs> That's a big ass spider. I'm a fuck it. <laughs> oh god. Um, okay, but yeah. So this telescope apparently can see back in time. Uh, what? It's complicated. Fucking shit! Are you okay. right? Yes. So apparently. It took okay, a so you know how light works. You know how light works, right? Uh, it's fast. It's bright. So, so the sun, like the light that, like light takes time to travel. So the light that we're seeing at the moment is the sun eight minutes ago. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, so like equidistant from the sun. So the sun is that far away from us. So it's taking the, eight minutes you are apart to travel. Cut out fat, dude. Okay, well, the podcast can hear me, so my question is valid. So the from the sun to the earth, huh. it takes mm-hmm. light eight minutes to travel. Yes. So we're using, like, recycled light, kind of. Like, right now. We're seeing what something was, like, however long ago the distance is. So I think someone said that the telescope, the new telescope, can see back to the Big Bang. Maybe? Uh-huh. And that was like 2.5 billion years ago, I think. I am. You're gonna have to fucking come back with a fucking paper. I'm gonna need to see some evidence. Yeah, I need to do some homework. Did I try to look it up? I think I looked yeah. it up. Well, don't look it up right now. I, I don't fucking bore me with no. it. We're already. Oh, we're already it cost like 10 it billion dollars. That's really cheap if it can see the Big Bang. Mm-hmm. That's cheaper than like, like some houses. <laughs> the fuck mm-hmm. we're already at like an hour 12 so let's just we'll, we'll, we'll save it we can wrap it up yeah 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 um firstly uh do we think spike is circumcised oh yeah from what again uh cowboy uh, bebop cowboy bebop i'll have to look it up uh I i'm gonna first... go with the solid no. Can I'm going to say no. Mm, I'm going to say no as well. He just, like, he seems like he mm, is indifferent. Definitely not. He seems indifferent. He doesn't seem like he, he would really mind being cut or being uncut. Right. I, I was yeah. hearing this. Well. Oh. Uh, Bay, Bay has like Tiny. those like, no, nah, she's definitely got like bigger she's areolas big. than you think. She's got silver dollar nipples. There you go. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good comparison. Hmm. They're okay. I bet They're she's like, got some um... like fat actual nipples, like the actual nipple. I bet it's fucking huge. But like the center of it. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a fucking clit or something. <laughs> like a like it comes out a decent mm. amount. Yeah. I feel like she's got pierced too. Uh, she's or, a, or maybe she's just bad. one. She could. 
I feel she it. rebellious like that. Wow, that was really um, easy. <laughs> that might have been the I want to go back to this telescope thing. I just looked something up. Oh, okay. So, um, the James Webb Telescope is so sensitive that it will be able to catch light from the first objects that formed, um, which will be the first stars and galaxies, or whatever it is that formed at the beginning of space and time. Um, the time traveling aspect of the telescope is all to do with how long it takes light to travel through the universe. As it takes a really long time for light to travel, we can essentially look way back in time from when stars and planets were formed after the Big Bang. Boom. So does Sin let you see the Big Bang just after just some it? light yeah. from it? It can see like the heat and shit that was formed that long ago. Oh, really? I'd still, I had someone's really gonna have to like draw a picture for me. So yeah, still... it's it's complicated stuff, and it it would take a lot of looking into. But I just think it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool, no doubt. I just don't understand. I feel like they need to like dumb that down for me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, whose turn is it? Who did it? So I think Hector Kelly did, did it last. Night, I think Kelly did it last. I think it's your turn. It's my turn. I think so. I think so. Yeah, actually, because uh, Lisa chose Nick and uh, Amy. I think they were before that. Nick and Amy. Yeah. Then we did Levi, Cora. Then we yeah, did yeah. All Might. So it is Harry. my turn. Um, Ronnie the Witch. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. How old is Ronnie? Before she's... Oh, she's well over care. the fucking legal age. Is she like a dragon lolly? I'm 4,000 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about 4,000, but well over the age. Um, Ronnie? And I'm trying to think of a great Jack Black. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ronnie the Witch and Jack Black. So I'll take it. You are truly cultured. Honestly, why don't people just fucking like Alyssa should be able to play Overwatch too? Like, what the fuck? I should. <laughs> this is bullshit. Hey, well, let me check again. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening to this episode of the Camping Buddies. I'm gonna be cutting out for these fucks a lot. I just, I just cut out again, actually, right now. I can, like, see myself cut out. Um, but anyway, thank you for listening to this episode. Uh, make sure you check us out on Spotify. Rate us on Spotify. Oh my god, Kelly <laughs> turned on his fucking thing and it fucked up the webcams. But that's okay, because we're about Wait. to wrap. Um, we will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy time away. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.